Mayor Lori Lightfoot sees sun lovers violating COVID-19 safety rules. Now she's taking action and says more restrictions could follow. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross tells us about the mayor's warning and the photo that set it off. At times there are more birds than sunbathers at Montrose Beach. The city closed down all beaches due to COVID-19 concerns and this weekend the nearby park is shut down. Entrances to the area barricaded. While foot traffic remains, most vehicle traffic is routed elsewhere due to what city leaders described as a party turned health hazard spotted nearby. Definitely is not any sort of social distancing. A lot of people don't have masks on. The actions follow this tweet by Mayor Lori Lightfoot. The photo attached shows a large gathering by the lake. She called this reckless behavior. Warning scenes like this could cause the shutdown of the parks and the lakefront. But the whole thing was a total nightmare and a pain. Justin Schneider's family has a boat in the harbor and for a time was cut off from getting there. My family pays good money to be here. You need to let them in. If they're showing a valid pass, let them in. When she had her cameraman there, they were taking photos of us and our crew. Mick Montesi says he was nearby the mayor when this picture was taken, describing this weekend scene as commonplace over the past two months, but adding. In person, in the flesh, it's not nearly as bad as that photo suggests. Montesi says this fence began going up shortly after the crowded picture made the rounds on social media. But if the object is to keep people from crossing over, well, there's already a hole in that plan and the fence. So I understand where her frustration and her concern is coming from. You cannot stop people from wanting to spend time outside in the last 30 to 60 days of good weather that's left. If you first you close the beaches, well, guess what? People move to the adjacent grassy areas. And where are people expected to go to when the beaches are closed? It's 95 degrees out. You're not going to change people's behaviors. You're just going to move them inland. Jeremy Ross. CBS 2 News. The Park District says it installed fencing to deter large gatherings like those seen yesterday. It's unclear how long that will be up. A worker told a CBS 2 crew the hole in the fence will be repaired.